Hello everybody, I'm the Solo Gamer. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Red Italy. I should say the Italian Union now because that's what uh, we're called. We're no longer Italy, the fascist empire in the Mediterranean. We are the Italian Union, the socialist <laughs> republic, essentially. Led by Gennaro Farah, which is a nobody, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't have an, a leader portrait, that's just... I mean, think of it this way, right? The fascist leader of America has a portrait. I think the communist one does as well. Uh, same goes for United Kingdom. Germany has all the different things. So, I mean, think of it this way, right? Eventually, I bet you every leader in the game will have at least some sort of portrait. It's just over time they're adding them in. Like, recently, there was a patch that added a bunch of um, different leaders over here in China. Um, yeah, like Siam... And I'm not doing a good job of showcasing this off. Um, mm, there's not a lot of nations over here. <laughs> oh, wow. I am sorry. I am screwing this up royally. But they did add a lot more in terms of nations over here. Oh, you know why I'm thinking? that That's right. Because when Japan declares war on China, the tribal nations around here join up into China. So, that's why there's less nations over here to, ch to take a look at. But technically speaking, they added a lot of leaders for the small countries in here. So, believe me that that's what they did. <laughs> anyway, um, Japan is doing a great job, actually. They've taken uh, Qingdao, and they're moving on to Nanjing, which is nice. They haven't taken uh, Beijing and Tianjin yet, but they're, they're making quick work. They're also invading down in here, which is uh, Xiamen. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. I know the Q's are more like a Chi, um, and the XI is more like a G kind of thing, I think. I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's an interesting place, China. <laughs> I, don't, I couldn't think of anything to say there. I, I really don't know. Um, Jainan, yeah. All right, so let's let time pass. Of course, the Republicans still need to... Oh, look at that. We can send volunteers now. All right, well, let's just do everything. Let's get a non-aggression pact. Uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, do this. And I also want one with the Soviet Union. I'm not joining your faction, right? Get that in your head. But I do want to make sure that we are on the same page. Communism should rule the world. Thank you. And we will get ourselves together a nice little force to send on over to Republican Spain. I think I could send three. So let's do... Nope, I did that wrong. There we go. Let's get Ubaldo to once again take up the mantle and head into Iberia to help out the other uh, Republicans. Okay, so the Perla class, which is, I think, the second... Yep, the second submarine class is done, which is awesome. Um, Maybe we should go after a carrier... No, I don't really need a carrier at all, because we're more Mediterranean than anything else. Maybe a secondary destroyer. Yeah, that'll be good. And we finished construction two, which gives us more construction speed, which is great. Uh, we'll work on dispersed industry two now. Go down the factory chain. Modify government. Nope, not quite yet. Of course, actually I can. I can grab the backroom backstabber. Which is what I wanted to do before, but I couldn't because of the ideology drift def uh, defense. Which would have kind of hindered our communist plans. So, let's grab him. More political pa- well, I should- <laughs> That really wasn't worth it. We only gained 0.10. Uh, <laughs> 0.10 more, which I guess adds up in the end, but that really is not worth it, in my opinion. Damn. Alright. At any rate, send volunteers- Send Ubaldo to finish off this war because these guys are not doing a great job of it. And uh, we'll, we'll get them out of this war. I'm also thinking I want to justify a war goal on Iraq. Now, one thing you have to worry about in this game is other nations kind of coming to the, the call of smaller nations. So France um, tries to guarantee Poland in terms of if someone's fabricating a claim on Poland, like the Soviet Union or Germany they will try to guarantee them so that war is kind of averted. The same goes for smaller nations around the world. So if I wanted to fabricate a claim on 
Afghanistan. Some major power might guarantee them, even though they're halfway around the world, just to protect the small nation. Um, and it's kind of like the World War II... Uh, I, I don't know what you'd call it. This game is a World War II simulator, right? Let, let's just say that. And they want World War II to happen in this game. They don't want you to go through the entire game and not have it happen. So, I guess as a balance, they kind of put that in there to guarantee small nations so that you do tango with the big powers eventually. So, it's kind of stuff you have to worry about, but we'll see. Uh, right, so we're down to 29 in the hole for oil. Wow, we need a lot of steel, chromium, rubber. Ugh. That's gross. <laughs> That's just gross. Um, fortification. I definitely want that now. And we should be, uh, the 4th of December. Okay, only two days left, and then we'll be in Spain. Okay. Let us just charge straight for Corona. We should still be, pa uh, let's not attack Germany, though, because that won't go well. There we go. This should allow us to, uh, help them win the war faster. We are working on some things in here. Uh, I can work on a lot more divisions now that I think about it. So, let's go ahead and train another division so we can start training up both sides. We'll put that over here, and then send it onto the purple line. We'll add maybe four each, possibly. And then we could probably do another tank as well. Uh, no, probably not. Motor oh, we actually can, because it's not actually an entire tank division, which is kind of silly. Maybe I'll replace these with tanks? We need a hell of a lot more light tanks. Hmm. I don't know. Of course, we can just change this one to tanks. Just kind of redo it. That requires 360 tanks. <laughs> we lose a lot of HP. I'm trying to think of like a, what a normal tank design looks like. I can't. I can't think for the time being. Right now. And then we have Support Artillery and Engineering Company. Maybe we do have mobile battalions. Something like this. The heart attack is great. Breakthrough, armor. I'm, yeah. Let's go with something like this for the time being. Actually, this would be more like a blitz kind of thing. I'd imagine. I'm not great with the templates, right? I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what I'm doing in here. I mean, I'm looking at the numbers. I'm seeing the positives and the negatives. The negatives right now kind of don't mean much to me because I'm trying to start from new. Um, but sadly, there was already a, a template in here, so I had to kind of work with that. So the negatives don't really mean much to me. I'm just trying to look at uh, what I'm gaining here kind of thing. I'm going to... Oh, I can't save that. It's too expensive. Well, once I have 90, which will probably be soon, we are back at war. I am going to do this one. And why... What is this? Oh, reserve... Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. It tells you how much... Uh, well, if they're prioritized to grab equipment faster. I like that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Anyway. Where are we? We're over here. So once we start battling, we hopefully will get 90, which will allow us to build that template. Quite possibly. Alright, the uh, the Germans are attacking. They're not going to win. Just head on through. We are absolutely pushing these guys back. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I stall them. Maybe I kind of build up my army experience a little bit more. Let's 
Something like that. Just so I'm... You know, like I said, I'm, I'm gaining more experience than I would. Then again, they are pushing in here. They will take that capital. So, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep battling. I'll let the Spaniards go up there and do that. While I take out the rest of the army. I, I do like these proxy wars. They're a hell of a lot of fun. Let's just go right there. We should be winning here soon. Okay, that's not a good one. Let's sneak in there, take that naval base. Okay, making progress. Ah, ugh, that's gross. Okay, well, let's wait for other tank and then let's push on through. I'm not sure why these guys... Is there... No, attrition? There shouldn't be much attrition. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's push on into that uh, naval base. We're still pushing out this way into the army... Or to the air force. Uh, what am I saying? Air base. Doesn't really matter. Okay, don't do that. Formation flying is done. We'll grab the next one, which is dive bombing. Uh, all right, hold off right there. Ah, 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 ah. Nope, you're not taking that. All right, we're up to 71. I don't think we're going to get 90 by the time this war is over. Sadly. Um, we'll see. Things are going much better now that I've joined. Um, like I said before, human players are just going to be absolutely much better than AI. Now, that's one of the things that, that they are working on. They are working on improving AI, which is great. I think that's one of the, the major things that they have to work on in this game, is the AI. So, um, they're, they're trying. You know what I mean? They're not... They're not just sitting by while the AI still sucks. Because <laughs> um, the AI does suck in some aspects, obviously, still. But they are trying. And that's that's all that matters. Paradox is great when it comes to stuff like this. They do actually try. Alright, we're going to kill off the rest of these guys before coming back to Corona. Just trying to clear up this area in here. I'm not sure what the hell is going on here. The AI, again, is, is screwing us over. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this and move on in here. Perfect. They only have a small little force over here, and then that's it, basically. The Civil War will be over. And we don't have to worry about any of these provinces down in Africa. All of that will go over to Republican Spain, I think. So we don't have to worry about anything down here. Now, I'm, I, I don't think a victory card spawns down here. Or a victory... Uh, what's it called? Victory Point? Are they call Victory Points? Yeah, Victory Point. I, I don't think there's one that spawns down here, so we should be okay anyway. The Anschluss of Austria! Great. Well, kind of not great, actually. He's, he's closer to me now. And Yugoslavia. But, uh, eh, it's alright. <laughs> Uh, right, so the Anschluss of Austria is essentially the annexation of Austria due to a coup d'etat of the Nazi party. So that's how, you know, Hitler extended his land down here. What he'll probably try to do now is go after Czechoslovakia, and then possibly even Poland. Let's take a look. Fortification is done. Awesome. We can start to befriend Bulgaria now, which will give communist support, as well as get us into this stuff down here, which is very, very important. So let's start doing that. Okay, he's now working on air innovations. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's going down to uh, extra research slot. Or the Wunderwaff, which would not be great. Okay, they are trying to push back here, and they are succeeding, but that's all right. Uh, I'm going to come in here in a second. Why are these guys... Oh, the Soviet. Are the Soviets not in this anymore? 
I'm just wondering why it's gray. Hmm. Not sure. Alright, we're up to 75 uh, army experience. It's not going to be enough. We need 90, obviously. I don't think we're going to get it. But we are getting closer. Alright, let's push them back to Corona. Take this goddamn thing and finish the war. Meanwhile... I'm trying to think. Do I want to you know, justify a claim on a rock? Or... Grab our 250 guy. So that we can start gaining experience. I think I want the experience. Just because I will be doing a lot of wars in Greece and stuff like that. So I... A rock is still on the table. But I think a rock should wait until the allies are kind of mixed up with the Axis. So whenever that starts happening, I think we will be fine to go into the Middle East more. I mean, we do need that oil, but... Yeah, I don't know. The great thing about sending volunteers to wars like this is that the experience they get from this war just makes them absolutely amazing. These guys are already veterans from the previous proxy war. And then this guy is coming up in, in strength. It's, it's, it's really, really good. Really good. All right, Corona, it's time for you to die. Yeah, maybe we do this. Well, let's just wait for a second while we recharge our, our forces here, and then we'll go into Corona. That's good enough. How are you not killing him? Kill the Nazis. 67%. There we go. Now we're pushing them out. And once we push these guys out, they're dead completely. Because they're kind of cut off from the world and they can't do anything to recover. So that's that's going to completely kill this, this soldier, which is great. Um, the only problem with winning this war in here, or this battle, is that they will retreat to Corona and make it ten times harder to take this goddamn place. Well, I say that, but... Eh, it's still harder. Alright, there we go. Everybody should come up to Corona now and help out. Just push them out. Completely. That's going well. We're up to 79%. It's not even really a percent, it's just experience. We need a whole 11 more, and I, I just, it's not going to happen. This battle is going to be over soon. Damn. I really wanted to start working on our, our tank divisions. Because while these ones are great, they're not technically tank divisions. They're mobile divisions, which is kind of not the same thing. There's only one tank division in this entire mess of things. I want to replace the cavalry um, to regular motorized infantry, but I don't think I have enough. We're not making enough yet. So we'll have to work on that as well. Mechanical computing is done. Great. We will work on computing machines. I want to get to decryption and encryption as soon as possible. So that I can work on this stuff. To, uh, well, see other people's countries. Spy on them. Alright, we're almost done over here. 92. Come on! Get in there! Yes! We are now home free. That's it. The Treaty of Ceuta. Republican Spain took 11 states and National Spain was annexed. Republican Spain is victorious. I do want military access. Um, and like I said before... Whoop. Alright. Uh, like I said before, they, um... Hmm... May, well, let me have a faction first, and then I'll check here, but I, I still think they have a modifier. Actually, you know what? I think it's only the Nationalist Spain faction that has the modifier. The Nationalist Spain faction, if they win, which is mostly all the time, except for when I help out Republican Spain, um, has a modifier that says, just finish the Civil War, and they have to cool down until like 45 or something stupid like that. 
So they can't join any wars or factions until 1945, which is a long way away. Um, but the Republican side doesn't look like it has it. So that might be great for us. They might be able to join our wars immediately. The end of the Spanish Civil War. Awesome. And we befriended Bulgaria, which means they will start having a communist support kind of thing. And we'll do this. All right. What else? Uh, Italy first. Yes. That will give us the ability to create our own faction, the Novus Imperium Romanum, which is Italy's faction. Absolutely. And then we could do uh, war with Greece, UK, France, everything. Everything we need to. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, we can't do any of this if we go with Italy first. But that's okay. I would love a lot of this research stuff, but... I mean, we can't do this anyway. We're not fascist. Um, that's okay. This side is still really good. Really, really good. All right. Italy first. Awesome. Bulgaria is slowly going to start heading our way. Over time. It's going to take a long time, but it'll get there eventually. Republican Spain is going to join our faction, I guess, almost immediately. We have some friends down here now. I am really, really happy. Everything is going pretty damn awesome for us. We just need to make sure that our faction looks a hell of a lot stronger than the Allies uh, in terms of trying to take smaller nations. Uh, like the, you know, Iraq and Iran and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want the Allies thinking they can defend them easily. What we can do as well, I don't want to do too many down here, but what I can do to kind of set up more forces down in Africa is this. Let us set up another division. Oh, you know what? Maybe it should... Well, I'm just trying to think of the best way to do this. I would like, I don't want cavalry. I want motorized. Okay, I got to do this one at a time. Ugh. All right, that would require 200 motorized infantry. Oh, do I want... To set up my tank divisions early, or do I want to set up my mobile divisions? This would only really help us out in Africa, because Africa is just so hard to fight in. It takes so long to walk <laughs> across all this land in here. No, you know what? I'm just going to get regular regular uh, divisions. Whoop. Alright, we'll add, like, three units, and we'll do this a total of two times, so we'll get six more guys down in here. Or nine. Nine would probably be better. Oh, okay. Go to Sicily then. And then go on to this front. Oh, that's the same color almost. Let's change that to a bluish color. And... I don't like... I want different colors here. Let's, let's go... Green, because that's cool. Uh, purple can be a red. This can be orange, but a better orange than that. There we go. And then blue. Yeah, maybe we should do a little bit lighter blue. Like a, a baby blue. Oh, that's not... What? Yeah, I like that. That's fine. Cool. It's really unnecessary, but you know what? It, whatever. So that will complete. Doing the um the number of division... What do you call this? Like... I don't know. Just... Yeah, it's a serial training. Um, that means that it's only going to do it three times. And then it'll stop completely. Whereas this one will com you know constantly produce these units. How are we doing now? We still have a shitload of infantry equipment. That's awesome. I can't add support artillery on here because I'm just looking. We only have 167. It's not going to be great for us at the moment. So we'll, we'll hold off on that. But eventually that's the plan. We add support artillery to every single one of our divisions. Well, our, our uh, infantry. At any rate, though, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to look at possibly going in on Greece. Down in here. Uh, no, right here. We don't want to befriend Greece. That's disgusting. Uh, war with Tur uh, war with Greece. Uh, I think we skip. If we go with war with Greece, do we still get the claims on Turkey? 
Or does that just go away? I'm not too sure, but we'll find out. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.